Hello everyone, I'm here today with Coach Applegate and Coach Dolph, our high school track coaches, to speak about specifically the stadium, what Proposition K will mean for this track program, as well as high school and middle school sports. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us, and Coach Applegate, can you talk to us a little bit about the barriers that currently exist with our high school track setup and what Proposition K will mean uh, for that vision? Sure, if we do get this new track facility, uh, we're really looking forward to that. A couple things that would be uh, big improvements right away would be the uh, eight lane track. So right now we're currently prohibited uh, from having postseason events, sectional track meets, district track meets, because of the seven lane track. Misha requires an eight lane track for those things. Also our field event facilities, our javelin, our shot put, our discus, our, our pole vault are really spread out. We've got javelin across the street in front of the high school. We've got discus to the north of the high school. You cannot see either of those things from the stadium. Um, so just from a supervision issue during practice, it, it's an issue. And then uh, at meets, you've got a lot of athletes going back and forth. Pole vault is all the way to the east end of the, of the track. And so just being able to have those in a more centrally located area, uh, just for supervision issues during, during practice. And then also from a spectator standpoint, that would be a big improvement. Well, thank you very much. And one of the key components of Proposition K is to take the current high school Panther Stadium and replace the turf repair the track, address some of the safety issues with the stadium, and realign that to serve as a middle school uh, athletic facility. We know that if this is approved, we will have a new high school campus. The current middle school will move to the current high school campus. And could you talk to us a little bit about what that will mean, not just for the track and football program, but what it will mean for day-to-day -day PE classes. Oh yeah, it'd be absolutely wonderful. So we currently use a little back lot area, which is susceptible to any weather or we wouldn't be able to even go outside so it makes planting hard sometimes with mother nature here in Missouri. Uh, so to be able to have that turf field for PE classes and then to track would just be wonderful. Also for our middle school track program we have to walk the kids across the street and all the way over there which is hard with supervision when you have such a big uh, track program at middle school so to be able to get just walk right outside your back door and be able to practice is wonderful. Um, also they have a really good weight room out there that we don't have here. We have some weights on the stage. It was pretty old school, but we try to do our best. So to be able to have that would be wonderful to get our kids bigger, stronger, and faster to be able to compete with some of these other schools. There's a lot of good advantages to being able to, to move over there and uh, take advantage of what they already currently have that we don't. Really by creating two, it would be two artificial fields, two tracks, and then there are a host of youth sports uh, fields that will serve our youth sports events. We'll be able to spread out a wide host of activities across multiple facilities allowing better use and safety for everyone involved. Last but not least, we've also seen a growth of 35% in student enrollment. So we are seeing our programs and our participation grow. And we want to congratulate specifically our girls track team. They are uh, our most recent state championship. We want to keep that trend growing and hopefully, if approved, we'll be hosting those postseason events here, giving our Panthers home court advantage. So we appreciate you guys very much. Keep up yeah. the great work. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.